Melanoma is a serious form of skin cancer that arises when cells in the skin start to grow out of control. It can appear on the skin as a mole or lesion that grows and changes shape or colour. It can be fatal. This is why I want to tell you about the really important work of Melanoma Focus, a charity that provides crucial support for those affected by the disease and the medical teams who treat it, along with funding innovative research into new treatments and helping to raise greater awareness of skin cancer. <laughs> Jen's husband James was diagnosed with melanoma in 2014. He had a mole that had changed a little bit and when they did a biopsy they discovered that it was melanoma and it was the lowest grade so they did a surgery that removed two centimetre diameter the whole way around it and got the all clear. In late 2019, James developed a cough which persisted and had to have tests to determine the cause. And in March 2020, he was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma. This is where the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. The second diagnosis was definitely a lot more difficult. I just had a baby, so my stress levels were pretty high anyway. James was very depressed. He would sit in a chair all day, every day, searching the internet trying to find out information about what was going to happen to him, what his chances were, a lot of misinformation and a lot of confusing information. With this new cancer diagnosis, Jen and James called the Melanoma Focus Helpline to get help and advice from a skin cancer nurse specialist. But having the helpline that either of us could call, get the correct information, clarify things, and also learn how to better support each other from people who are used to dealing with cancer, who know how difficult it is. James's health declined rapidly after the cancer spread to his stomach and brain, and within three weeks became housebound. James had two and a half years from his stage four diagnosis to his death, and having access to melanoma focus, having access to the helpline and that information, without doubt, gave him more time than we thought he was going to have. And it was so important to have that time because Jess had just been born and it gave him chance to get to know her and for her to know him. They gifted us two and a half years that were the most precious two and a half years I could have ever asked for. Melanoma skin cancer is increasing in all age groups, yet astonishingly, 86% of melanomas are preventable by staying safe in the sun and avoiding sunbeds. With early detection and advances in medicines, melanoma can be treated. That's why the charity is committed to funding research to help shape a better future for melanoma patients. For us in Melanoma Focus, we really want to see better treatments, we want to see better ways of doing things. So our research programmes that we funded will include laboratory-based research on the causes of melanoma or how best to manage a service for melanoma. So we as a charity really want to help our patients and help those who help patients get better and better at dealing with this disease. The charity has set up the Melanoma Trial Finder. This gives the most up-to-date information on all new trials that are currently available to melanoma patients in the UK. Importantly, clinical trials provide hope. This resource saves sick patients valuable time and effort searching for the information themselves. For about the last 10 years, Lucy has been treated for metastatic melanoma. After being diagnosed stage four, Lucy underwent a new drug trial. Four weeks out of six, I was going into the hospital for treatment, desperately, desperately hoping it was working. Got through December, had a beautiful but sad Christmas of thinking, God, this is probably my last one. But that's what I did. I carried on with the drug trial and carried on with the treatment. And the tumours got a bit smaller. They never went. But, you know, as long as they're not growing, that seemed like good news. The timing to get on a new drug trial was critical for Lucy. That's why the melanoma trial finder is so important. My biggest fear always was not seeing my children grow up. I wanted to be there for all of it. I still want to be there for more of it. But there was suddenly this drug trial available that there hadn't been six months before. And had I not been able to go on that trial, had I not got immunotherapy at that time, then probably the really bleak prognosis I've been given was right, because I, I knew that people just died.
Melanoma Focus are also empowering patients to take an active part in their care by organising forums like the Melanoma Patient Conferences. These are safe spaces for patients and carers to interact and network to hear about the latest advances in melanoma medicine from medical professionals. After seeing a GP in 2018 about a mole on her breast, Jess was referred immediately. Within a month, it was confirmed to be melanoma. It is like a bomb going off in your world. It Literally nothing will ever be the same again. I am stage three, so I was put on the immunotherapy every three weeks for 12 months. And then if you don't progress in that time and if you're okay, then you basically go on what's called a watch and wait surveillance. So with melanoma, there is a chance of it reoccurring at any stage. So I will never be free of not knowing. I will always be under surveillance. Being a mother with small children, Jess worried about the people around her. She found herself more stressed and suffering from high anxiety. I remember my little girl whooshing around in a dress and saying that I'm, I'm a bride, mummy. I look at me, I'm a bride. And I'm thinking, I just hope I get there. And that's, that's the hardest. <laughs> that's the hardest thing. It's just hoping you're going to be there. Jess got help from the Melanoma Patient Conferences. The minute I went to the Melanoma Conference, I felt that people knew what I was feeling. It's filled with talks from oncologists, researchers, patients, and most importantly, we get to ask questions and get the answers. It just normalises it. All of a sudden, you're normal again. You're back to being the person you were before you'd got the diagnosis. You get to know the standards of care you should be getting and how to get it. I get to feel hopeful and I have the tools to make informed decisions. I will never stop talking about melanoma because I want to make sure that we're not too late for others. More people are currently being diagnosed with melanoma in the UK than ever. By donating, you can help Melanoma Focus continue to provide emotional and practical assistance and fund more vital medical research to help develop effective ways to treat and ultimately cure the disease. And for every pound you donate, it'll be match funded pound for pound up to 12 and a half thousand pounds, meaning you can help raise even more money for all the good work they do. To find out more, visit the charity's website, www.melanomafocus.org. Thank you.